Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the TV Tray Sessions here at Guitar Talk with Todd. Today we are saluting the late, great Hubert Sumlin, my friend, Howlin' Wolf's right-hand man. What a guitar player, what a human being. I loved Hubert. Uh, such an influence on not only me, big time, but... Uh, the music world in general, obviously on the blues, but then of course rock and roll and that just spawned off into everything. Uh, obviously the stories of Eric Clapton, Keith Richards, all those guys loved Hubert and treated him like royalty and rightfully so. And of course that spawned off into a million other things. Um, why Hubert Sumlin is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or wasn't in there on day one is a shame. Um, what a disgrace, really. I mean, Hubert should have been in there on the first year, without a doubt. I mean, that stuff he laid down with Howlin' Wolf, uh, him and Willie Johnson, I'm going to put Willie in there as well, that, that was rock and roll guitar playing before that term was even coined. And... Um, Hubert was, uh, was a great guy. Him and Willie as a team were great. And, uh, you know, it's a great story about that whole thing, how he uh, thought Howlin' Wolf was fantastic as a little, little kid. And he was peeking in, trying to see the wolf play live. And he fell right onto the stage. And uh, Wolf told him, you know, sit there and and watch and, and don't move. And then brought him home and told his mom not to punish him too bad. He just wanted to hear the music and uh, him and Wolf were pretty much like that from that day on. <laughs> I think Hubert went everywhere Wolf did. When Wolf came to Chicago, he called for Hubert and Hubert came and uh, boy, there was just, that's just the stuff right there. Uh, I've said this many times. You know, in my opinion, there's blues singers and there's Howlin' Wolf. Uh, he's in a league all his own. I just love him. And, of course, you can't talk about Howlin' Wolf without talking about Hubert Sumlin. Um, through the years, I ran being out with B and various things like that. I ran into Hubert all the time. And, um, you know, he I, it was just so great because he always genuinely was happy to see you and he would always talk and spend a lot I've talked about this on here before um you know if we'd be talking or something before the show and then a lot of times a line would form and people would want him to sign stuff and he would always stick around and do that and then uh you know when that would get done he'd like look around and try to find like where you were and he'd see you and he'd wave you over to like come and talk and Hubert was always there at the at the end you know the show was over and Hubert was right there talking to everybody and he was just always like that and uh, just very cool uh, honor for me to say that you know I, I knew him while he was here on this planet and what an impact he had on me and so many guitar players like I said um, and he should have been in the, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame day one and I just never understood why he or why he isn't, I should say. But uh, So anyways, uh, Hubert, my friend, we miss you so much. We thank you for the music. We love you. So we're sending one out today to the great Hubert Sumlin, who we lost 12 years ago on this date, December 4th, 2011. So salute to Hubert. So always remember Hubert Sumlin. Uh, we'll never forget you, my man. Thank you again. Thank you all so much for checking in. Please hit that subscribe button. Find me on Facebook at Todd BB Music, and we will see you all again. Never forget Hubert Sumlin. Stay safe and love your dogs. Take care.